everybody, welcome to, or welcome back to Ogre Speed Shop. On this video, we're gonna get into trying to fit that monstrosity onto the front of this. And I'm not sure if this is the right one for it, but I got it for a good price, and uh, we're gonna try it. We're gonna make it, see if we can make it fit. So let's get into the video, so stand by and enjoy the video. So I think the first thing I need to do in order to get this, uh, to start fitting this on here, is I'm gonna pull the grill, and basically the whole front end of the truck off. So let's get into doing that and see what we find. I already took one piece off. This is a, there's a trim piece that goes up here. It's a little cover piece. I took that off last night when I was playing around with it. But let's get into this. I think I'm gonna take that piece, that plastic piece off that I had off before. It's gonna come off and then uh, probably the grill because I think we have to go back behind here. I don't know if you can see down in there or not, but the, that bolt way down inside there I think it's one of the mounts for the top part, so we'll see. So let's get into it. All right, so I got the whole front grill off. That is really easy to do. It literally just pulls right off, the grill does. And the lights, they just come off with a little bar right here. You slide that out and it, you know, slide that out and it, and then you just pop them out and unplug the, the lights. These ones have a little clip on each end of it on the outside, you push that in, tips out and it pulls right out. So the whole front end comes off of this thing very easily. So now I gotta figure out if I can get these to fit on there or not and figure out where they gotta mount to underneath. So let's get up underneath there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and remove this piece right here. And if you want to see how that's done, you can look at my other video on uh, fixing the bumper. So let's get that thing on. All right, so right now I'm trying to figure out if I can get these brackets to go on here. So far I've measured from this point to this point, and it's 35 inches, which is the same thing underneath here. So let's get up underneath there so you can see what I'm talking about. The light going. So this is the bolt right where the hook's at. So that's where it looks like it's, that bolt's gonna go. So we can get that up in there, then we can figure out the rest. I think I might have to extend the upper pieces that attach to the top. Might might me to might ha, might have to extend those because they don't quite reach up over the bumper. But we'll figure it out once we get there. So first thing I want to see is if it's gonna fit right there on those. And we'll see. Alright, so I got her bolted on there in the location of where the bracket's supposed to go on the bottom here. So it actually uses, utilizes the, the hole for the hook. So that's the bolt for the hook. Problem is, it's not quite high enough. So it's, if you look here, you see how the headlights are above or right in the bar. So I need to figure out a way of raising it up. Plus it's about for sit right here too. So I gotta figure that out. Might need to do some cutting and welding. I don't know yet. To raise that up. We'll see. I apologize for a little bit of a glare out there, but so it looks like I gotta raise this up about two and a half inches. And the only place I can do that would be down here at these brackets. So what I need is some 5 16th plate make this work. So basically I'm going to have to take this and move it down two and a half inches. So let's see what I can figure out to do that with. I'm just noticing that the upper level bracket, the one that goes, is supposed to go straight across the bumper here and down to that bolt, is about the distance we need to go up. A little bit less. But, uh, so yeah, if I get that up there and get that parallel, that'll be my good uh, good uh, um, reference point. And then these brackets right down here. Because they're supposed to go parallel to the bumper above it. So that's what we gotta work on. All right, I got a plan. So basically this distance from here to here is exactly the distance I need to move up. So if I take and cut this off, move this down here to make it parallel to this, 
So, so basically I'm going to cut it here, move it down, weld it back into place, and then I'll plate it on this side too for extra strength. Because you see there's plenty of room over here to do that with. And that'll raise up the two and a half inches I need. So I think that's going to be the plan. Now the good, the fun part is taking it back off. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off while it's on the truck. That way I know if I have to clearance any more like through this area right here to clear the bumper. But that way I can raise the whole bumper up to the whole uh, grill up, the grill guard or cow catcher or brush guard, whichever I'm gonna call it, up into position. And uh, that way I know where it's gonna be. So I got those cut off now, so now I better raise it up and put it into position to where it's supposed to go. And you can see right there, I do need a clearance. So I'm gonna have to cut a little bit more off of that, which is all good. Let's see, go down, down about another inch. So I'm gonna slant this just down there about an inch or so. And I should take care of it. So we got those all cut down and ready to go back on. So let's see if it lines up. Okay, so looking at this now, that's definitely gonna give me more than enough room to bring this in and down to where it needs to be. So it's gonna be like right there. Just enough clearance on that one piece right there on the bumper. So I think we're good. And that brings the headlights up to where they need to be. perfectly through the hole, like centered in the hole. So yeah, I think we're good. Just gotta take everything off, clean it up, and weld it. All right, so we got those relocated. So now we got those mounts ready to go, so we should be able to put it back up in there and bolt it in, make sure everything's fitting right. I'll probably go ahead and grind down the weld just to make it smooth. And then I'll add the plate later for reinforcement. Probably once it's bolted on. So let's see what it looks like like that. And then I still gotta do the upper mounts. So we gotta figure that out once we get this part done. And that's the upper mount right there. All right, so we got her back up in there, test fitting, just to make sure he's good. And you can see right there, it's hitting before it gets up square. So I want it to be a little bit, I want this base to be parallel. So I'm gonna have to trim a little bit more off of here. I'll probably just grind down just like a little circle in there. Just to make it real easy. And it's the same on the other side as well. There's Dick hanging out. And the freaking cart's getting stuck. So yeah, it's hitting right there too. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a little more trimming and fitting. And then go in here and finish up between these welds and Get it bolted in the rest of the way, but first I gotta get clearance that. So let's mark that and get it ready. Alright, so she is on. Not completely, I still gotta do the upper brackets. The lower brackets, let me get down there. It's a little too hard for me to crawl around these days, so I gotta get down on a freaking stool just to me the ankle. But anyways, alright, so got that all bolted in. So you can still use the hooks. I'm gonna clean that up and uh, see how just enough room over the bumper. I should have cleared that plastic piece that's still there that goes on there. If not, it'll rub through it, but whatever. But just those two bolts alone, or that mount down there, it has our solids. Like I can shake it and heck I was lifting the truck with it by earlier, so I think that'll work. So what do y'all think of the red? Should I paint it or keep it red? You know, the truck is all silver, ain't no other red on it, but there's also no other black on it. So let me know what you think. That is powder coated, by the way. All right, so for the upper uh, mounts, I gotta add about three inches of material to that. So I have to do that. I'm gonna do that tomorrow because it's raining right now and it's supposed to rain all night. So, but if you look down in here, 
down in here. You can see how it's not quite reaching. So once I get that extended, then we'll figure it out and we'll bolt it on. That'll be the last of it. We can throw the truck back together. All right, so it's a whole new day, and I had to take the truck to town today for a garage sale thing. So I wanted to see if it would still fit with all the bumper supports and everything and the bumper covers. So this piece right here wasn't on when I was sizing this thing up. And as you can see, that hits now. And I'm a few inches off, or about half an inch off, uh, getting those holes to line up right there. Yeah, let me get the picture, see? That's a little bit too low. So I gotta grind some more off of this. Looks like just uh, basically just flat across here and up, it'll take care of it. Oh, where am I at? Right there. So from that mark there, if I go straight up and around to that area, should take care of it. All right, so I got those ground down now. That should fit up inside there now and clear everything. Both sides are done. So, should be good to go now. Get it up in there. I'm gonna put some paint on it real quick. It's gonna be black, but you can't see it because it's gonna be kind of under the bumper, so not too worried about it. Just gonna put a little coat on it. All right, so we got those all painted up, ready to go on. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed and hopefully for the last time. I gotta pull the grill off first. So we're gonna pull that off, put that on, and then we can set up the uh, upper mounts. All right, well, it's back on permanently now. The only thing I have to do is make the upper brackets. So I'm gonna do that next. You see that is kind of hitting a little bit on the bumper, but that's with that plastic piece on there now, but it's just barely touching, which I'm fine with. And everything's bolted in down there, so I just need the upper mounts. And I filmed me putting this all in, but I, I don't know what happened to the footage, so. This is what you get to see, just a finished product. Let's work on those upper mounts. So as you can see, the original brackets are a little bit too short. So I need to make new ones to extend it out. So I just gotta take a measurement from this point here up to the bottom of this plate and build a new uh, mid, mid plate or mid section there. Over here. Let's get that done. Okay, so I took a measurement for these brackets, and these need to be five inches to the base of that thing. So I need to lengthen this to where it's five inches total. So that includes the bottom plate too. So I have to cut a piece in the middle here for five and a quarter, or four and three quarter basically, because these are quarter inch plates, I think. Yep. That's what I gotta do. All right, so I got those all cut and cleaned up now. So I just gotta make a piece that goes in between them. So let's find some scrap and do that. All right, so I couldn't find any uh, angle iron around the shop here and I didn't feel like going to town. So I found this two inch pipe. Or inch and I don't know what size it is. It's that big. And this is two inches, I think. But anyway, so I found that and I cut it in half. So I got two of them to make both of them. And this is how I made my bracket. So I just uh, extended it and lengthened it that way and welded it together. And that allows me to bolt it in down here. If you can see that. So now I got that bolt there, and we can be able to bolt that in there, and twist it in the spot, and bolt it all down. There you go. All right, so we got them all welded together, and now they're painted. So I just gotta let them dry, and then I can install them. All right, so it's the next day, and you can see the paint's dry, so it's time to install these brackets. And then the install on this will be done. But make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I got a little surprise for you. It's going to be a continuation of another video. So, just a real quick uh, tidbit on what's coming. All 
All right, so I got those brackets in and tightened down. That thing is as solid as they get. I cannot shake it. Show you. Zoom in a little bit here. Literally no movement whatsoever. That thing, so we are good to go on that. Good for the grill on. This project is done. slash cow catcher slash gear catcher wherever you're from whatever you call it install complete all right so installing the cow catcher has been a multi-purpose reason for one there's a lot of deer around here and one of the things you hear about the most people hitting deer so i figured i'd throw one on here to help protect the truck the other one is i need to complete my metal rack and if you remember from my other video where we started it i still need to complete it to come out to the front now I have a mounting point for the front portion of it. So I can put, uh, mount it here. And I just realized the antenna was gonna be in the way of metal, but that's okay. So now I have a place to mount something up. So I'll make a clamp on here somehow so I can complete my 20 foot metal rack. So I can get 20 foot pieces from of metal now. So stand by for that video. That'll be coming out pretty soon. I just want to get a good view of the truck outside now. See what she looks like with the cow catcher all the way on there outside. I think it looks pretty good. I'll keep it red for now. So let me know what you think. You like the red? Should I paint it black or paint it to match the truck? Or let me know. All right. Well, that's going to complete our install of the, uh, what kind is it? It is a ranch hand. Uh, brush guard slash cow catcher slash deer catcher, depending on what region you live in and what you call it. So I like to call it a cow catcher because it's, you know, we have a lot of cows around here, so I'm gonna call it a cow catcher. And, but if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like down there. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We're gonna have more videos coming with the, uh, the completion of the metal rack so I can uh, actually haul metal, full pieces of metal. So if you enjoyed this video, like I said, leave a like down there, make a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video and if it helped you out any. But that was how do you modify a, a ranch hand uh, brush guard to fit a truck it wasn't meant to fit on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.